Angels Roll the Rock Away by Benjamin Milgrove, edited and arranged by Michael Burkhart for SATB a cappella choir. Angels roll the rock away, death yield up thy mighty prey. See, he rises from the tomb, glowing with immortal bloom. Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. We are illumined by the brightness of his rising. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Death has no more dominion over us. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Joyous light of glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, we have come to the setting of the sun, and we look to the evening light. We sing to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy of being praised with pure voices forever. O Son of God, O giver of life, the universe proclaims your glory. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who led your people Israel by a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Enlighten our darkness by the light of his Christ. May his lamp, word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. For you are merciful and you love your whole creation. And we, your creatures, glorify you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.
Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. O Lord, I call to you. Come to me quickly. Hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a watch before my mouth, O Lord, and guard the door of my lips. Let not my heart incline to any evil thing. Let me not be occupied in wickedness with evildoers. But my eyes are turned to you, O God. In you I take refuge. Strip me not of my life. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Let us pray. Let the incense of our repentant prayer ascend before you, O Lord, and let your loving kindness descend on us, that with purified minds we may sing your praises with the church on earth and the whole heavenly host, and may glorify you forever. Amen. Our reading this tonight is from 1 Corinthians chapter 15. When the perishable puts on the imperishable and the mortal puts on immortality, then shall come to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your victory? O death, where is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. We continue our readings from Day by Day We Magnify You, daily readings for the entire church year uh, by uh, Pastor Martin Luther. The reading, the reading, daily reading for Easter, Christ is risen. This is a strange message, such as reason cannot understand. It must be accepted in faith. Christ is alive and yet dead, and dead in such a way that in him death itself has had to die and lose all its power. As the Lord Christ has conquered death, he has also conquered sin. For in his own person he is pure and just. But because he takes on himself the sins of others, he becomes a sinner. That is why sin can assault him. And he, the Lord Christ, is very ready to be thus assaulted and nailed to the cross in order that he may die, as if he had himself sinned and brought his death upon himself. But there, hidden under the sin of others, his holiness is so great that death cannot overcome him. Thus sin, like death, attacked the wrong person, and so grew weak and died in his body. Likewise, the devil wanted to prove his power over Christ and used all his might against him, trying to bring him down. But he met, but he met with a higher power that he could not overcome. All this has been done in order that our Lord Christ might be glorified, because by being cast down he was lifted on high. And these three mighty foes, sin, the devil, and death, must lie low under his feet. This great victory we celebrate today, now all power consists in this, that we take it well to heart and firmly believe in it. Sermon for Easter Day from the year 1544. This is the day the Lord has made, Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We uh, thank you all for joining us for Easter service yesterday. And uh, we uh, very much uh, celebrated our Lord's resurrection. And that resurrection is for every day, uh, every day as we go forward in him. A couple of announcements. One is our next hymn is Scatter the Darkness, Break the Gloom, which is Lutheran Service Book Hymn 481. I do not believe we've sang this at faith before, but it is a wonderful hymn, and this is a good opportunity for us to learn a new hymn. Also, a reminder that we will be streaming at 8 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. now on our daily schedule. I sent out a Compline order uh, this, this morning on email and also posted it on the Facebook page and encourage you to continue to do Compline within your own families in the evening before you go to bed. It's a very good way to end the day. Also, all the old Compline services are still on the internet, uh, on the Facebook page, and, and on the YouTube page. You can go back and repray those. Uh, those prayers are just as good second time around as they are the first time. 
Oh, and the, the last thing is I um, also posted the Easter video from yesterday, the Easter greeting video. Encourage you to watch that. Um, in many of the pictures that were on there were pictures of our saints from faith who have gone before, and we celebrate their resurrection as well as we celebrate Jesus' resurrection. So I encourage you to watch the video at least one or two more times and see um, all those who celebrate the Lord's resurrection together. Your kindness evermore. How you 
peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Matthew, Daniel, John, for all pastors in Christ, for all servants of the church, and for all the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Donald, Mitch, Nancy, John, Eric, James, for all public servants, for the government and those who protect us, that they may be upheld and strengthened in every good deed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who work to bring peace, justice, health, and protection in this and every place, especially Amy, Chad, and Darcy, Dave, Deb, and Eve, Laura, Laura, and Heather, Jessica, Joan, Judy, Kaylee, Kevin, Kyle, Shelley, and Tim, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who bring offerings, those who do good works in this congregation, those who toil, those who sing, and all the people here present who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the members of Faith Lutheran Church and their families, especially Becky, Noah, Travis, Courtney, Nolan, Charles, and Paula, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the faithful who have gone before us and are with Christ, let us give thanks to the Lord. Alleluia. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Rejoicing in the fellowship of the saints, let us commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to Christ our Lord. To you, O Lord. O God, from whom come all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may live in peace and quietness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Taught by our Lord and trusting his promises, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve you. Amen.